Look at me! I'm the Woo Woo board, What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I want to talk about something um, that I've kind of talked about for a few years, um, but it's been a slow burn where Skip Bayless, are we finally watching the final throws of Skip Bayless and Undisputed? Um, I think Skip Bayless made a major mistake by letting go Shannon Sharp. You can see how Shannon Sharp with the Shay Shay podcast is blown up, of course, with Cat Williams and says he's made more money off of that uh, interview than basically anything he was doing with, I guess, Skip Bayless, where Shannon Sharp came in as the newbie and was the whipping post and got finally got up to a point where he was like, I'm sick of this shit. I don't need you, Skip Bayless. And it turns out it seems like Skip Bayless needs Shannon Sharp. I know that the numbers had been down on Skip Bayless, but I didn't realize how down they are. And this brings into the whole conversation now old media, which is ESPN, Fox Sports, and things like that, the newspapers, the magazines, um, and so on, the traditional sports and news media. And then you have what's known as new media, okay? New media, whether you think it's credible or not, it is taking over. It has grown in leaps and bounds. The fact that right here, we're at 99,452 subscribers. For me, a guy who's not far from broadcasting in his mama's basement, who did not have a journalism degree, is not an NFL insider, but for whatever reason, people listen. Maybe it's because, well, I don't know, uh, they like a train wreck and they like seeing cowboy fans cry. Whatever it is, and the thing that I have learned through in life, it doesn't matter how good or how big you are, there's evolution. And if you're not evolving, if you're not changing, if you're not bringing something new, you become like the dinosaurs and you die out. The thing with Skip Bayless is Skip Bayless's whole thing is the same thing over, 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 and over again. At least with Shannon Sharp, you had somebody who, you know, kind of kept Skip Bayless at bay and gave you at least something to kind of, you know, watch. Skip Bayless on his own is just un unwatchable. But here's where Dan Lebitar, you know, again, he works for Rival Station, so of course he's going to trash uh, Fox, but... He was putting in you know, this video, and I want to show some parts of it. But in February, I want you to understand how low it is. February 27th, and maybe there wasn't a whole lot of things that were going on that day. But on February 27th, it had a record low viewership of 50,000 viewers. It was Tuesday, February 27th. On the same day... Uh, Shannon and uh, Stephen A, first take, had a half a million. We're talking about basically 10% of what people were watching with Stephen A. Say what you will about Stephen A. Smith, he's learned how to evolve. Bringing in Shannon Sharp was you know, a, a game changer. I would have thought having Michael Irvin on with Skip Bayless would have been making it more watchable. But I'll be honest with you, it starts at, what, 9.30? You know, who can take three and a half hours to skip Bayless? And he's gotten to be to a point where he is just this bitter old man. And, you know, you know, one minute he's screaming about my Cowboys, the next minute he's throwing jerseys in the trash. And it is getting close to the contract being up. And they may not renew it. Now, that's not to say you can't do, you know, there's so many things you can do in new media. You can start your own podcast and stuff. But if you've seen the Skip Bayless podcast and things, he's really unwatchable by himself. Let's listen in to Dan Levitar and uh, what they were saying about the, you know, uh, the end of Skip Bayless. I want to know, though, from you guys, uh, because I, I feel like... 
I, I don't know who the audience is for argument television, okay? But I think one of the reasons our audience rejects this talk is because they don't want, if, if they wanted first take or, or it's permutations, that's where they would be in the middle of the day instead of consuming what we're doing here. But I have found fascinating, Stugantz, over the last 15 years of what Stephen A. Smith and, and Skip Bayless built, right? Because a decade is the number one show on television that's like unheard Crazy. of. What, yes. what Stephen A. Smith is Sports worth talks. right now, after, after very quietly, Stugatz, saying a couple times, I'm underpaid on television. He welcomes in McAfee and all these $17 million contracts, Joe Buck. Troy Aikman, when he's the voice and face of ESPN, and he's now underpaid as soon as they all arrive. He welcomes them all in, and now his ratings are giant, and the greatest, e I don't know if it's the greatest ego mistake I've seen in sports media, mm -hmm. but Skip Bayless underestimating that he needed Shannon Sharp. Yes. For that show to be successful. Colossal mistake. The, well, but the yes. numbers to God, so he, they make the same amount of money, okay? And Skip Bayless... But, but Stephen A. Smith also has a production company as part of what he's trying to build, which is going to be giant, I am sure. It's going to be powerful and impressive, whether he does it with ESPN or outside of ESPN, because Stephen A. Smith wants to play with Tom Brady and, and Peyton Manning in the sphere of, I'm as big a star in sports right now as there is. I'm a media star, and I'm at my company, and I'm underpaid. And he's going to have power. He's going to have an ability to get power here, Stugat, because... He brought in Shannon Sharp too. Mm -hmm. He carried him over. Shannon Sharp was done, Stugatz. Like it was, he wasn't, he wasn't gonna get back in the game. And now he's a giant on impact. And man, as soon as he arrives, and this this has been brutal to watch. I've hated this for him. The piranhas arrive and devour him and mock him and try to eat him up. And this man is so strong. Like his story is so strong to come from. The poverty he came from, a problem with a lisp to being like a Hall of Fame loudmouth who now, you know, has two artificial hips but still wants to compete with everybody. And now can because he's got, he's got a giant valuable platform and he works so hard, so hard, Stugatz. And I can't help but be impressed that at the top of our game, what the people are consuming, the candy of what it is that we do – we're watching the end of Skip Bayless because his numbers, those numbers are so bad, Stugatz. We were doing twice those numbers on ESPN News. Like, he's coming to the end of his contract, and Nick Wright is here to have the money that Fox has to offer. And Colin Cowherd's going to be able to do whatever he mm -hmm. wants with him and his company mm -hmm. and Shannon Sharp. And they're going to compete at the top of the game, the sports media games and the athlete games at the top of the business. I find that stuff fascinating. Am I the only one? He knows he don't give a yeah. <laughs> That's not, in, that's not interesting to you guys? It's very interesting. Nah. It's very interesting. Baby. How can that not be interesting <laughs> to you guys? They're uncultured. That's what they are. Uncultured. I'm with you, big brother. <laughs> this is very, especially as a black man. You know what I mean? Going through all of those things. Choo-choo. Stephen A. Smith was fired and came back from yeah, the dead. Right, right. Yeah, but, but we've talked about it. I, uh, but it's, I mean, but, it doesn't get talked about enough, man. It, but he, I mean, he's Quite had, frankly, it's impressive what he's done. Right. He's, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> that show. How can you guys, you guys disrespect what that man has done? You disrespect what he has done to get back to the top of the game through the it's labyrinth? fine, but what are we going to talk about his funeral right. if we keep talking about it now? Exactly. <laughs> he did what Shane Dillis, Gillis did times 100. Right. He got them folks oh. to re <laughs> invest in him, and now he's still at the top of that. Stephen A. Game. Smith is about to change the game again, and now he rides with Shannon Sharp, and they can build whatever the hell they want. Right. With and or without like ESPN. Said, That's the interesting part. With or without ESPN. Of course. ESPN. With, with, yeah. with or without Disney or right. sell it back to Disney. I'm, Correct. This is now not just the money game. It's the power game. It's the influence game. It's the legacy game. It's not just Stephen A. who's going to get fat on fame. He's trying to build something that is a giant platform. First Take has been number one for more than 10 years. Skip Bayless created an economy. Stephen A. Smith buried it. He's super competitive. He's a conqueror, and he's getting bigger than he's ever been, and he comes from McDonald's commercials. Mm. Like, uh, he will have, he will, 
What is about to happen is he is about to, I think, shake the industry with his next contract and should. And in the meantime, Skip Bayless, could it be the end of it? Could we finally get out of our misery of Skip Baseless? We'll have to wait and see. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I appreciate you guys. Peace.